Hey guys, Clefire Dragon here, and welcome back to Locked Heart. Woo! We're gonna play some Locked Heart. Uh, let's see, where did I leave our our art a little off? This one, right? Uh, let me check. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. We were here with the skirts and the stuff. Uh, who would want to? And I click. Grinning my teeth didn't stop my blood from boiling. This is not the kind of tension I wanted. Royal, you hit it! Still riled up, I proceeded to take another step, but my foot slipped off the ladder rung. I squeaked in terror and fell. E even if I wasn't so high up, the impact would still hurt. I shut my eyes, bracing for impact, but instead of striking the floor, my back fell against something soft. I wonder what it is. My heart still throbbing, I opened my eyes to meet the concerned gaze spreading across Royal's face. My lower lip trembled when his arm tightened around me. Ah! It's so cute. It is cute. I love it. He has an earring. Look at that. It's a little earring. But look how cute. Cute! So kawaii. Are you alright? Yes. My blush has become hot. That it was um, so hot that it was painful. I had already expected that, um, Royal was attractive, but him being so close was too much for my heart to handle. I tried to lean away, but there was nowhere to go. Royal, on the other hand, didn't seem to notice. His brow knitted as, he, um, he sighed. Good. You were such a klutz. I could only blink in response. What? Wait, wait, is that, um, yeah. What? Ooh, wait, 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 where's my... Ah, my choices! Uh, wait, no, uh... I can save it, right? I can save it, okay. 20. Okay. Mm, oh, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Do I look away? Or, mm, glare would make him mad. I want to look away. Or was that actually... Well, I don't, well, I don't know. I was like, do I get an extra picture? But who cares? What? <laughs> don't tell me you've fallen for me. I snapped my head at his direction again, stunned. What? Sorry to say, but I'll have to dump you. You're definitely not my type. Well then, pfft, I don't... <clears throat> yeah. Who would even like a violent, grumpy bear like you anyway? You're probably the one who already has fallen for me. <laughs> I try not to laugh. I tried to give him a taste of his own medicine, but Royal shrugged my accusation away. Impossible. You have zero appeal, you're loud, annoying, and you have a flat chest. Well, excuse me! I, I think you need a slap in the face right now. Yeah. I'm gonna add you to the list of people who I need to slap in Otomi games. I have a list. Somewhere. Everyone will mistake you for a guy. Not with my hair. And not with my face. Well, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I joke that, depending how I look or how short my hair is, I could look like a guy. I don't know. My hair is usually pretty short, but... Uh... My face burned. Excuse me? Are you... Are you blind? My bra size is C, and that's... <laughs> you had to tell him that? Royal's face went beet red. Shut up, you idiot! That's not something you're supposed to reveal to a guy! Eh? Well, it was you who brought up the subject. <laughs> it's funny. I stared at Royal. His face was still crimson as he looked everywhere but me. Oh, so you do get flustered. I did not dare admit it aloud, but he did look cute blushing like that. He does. <laughs> Can I put you- Oh, you're still holding me! <laughs> Can I put you down now? You're really heavy. <laughs> Sorry! We're done here. You should go and help Lily with the laundry now. He left the room with only a few strides. Um, he geek- I giggled, thinking about how adorable he was when he blushed. Just as I did- Um, just- that I did just as Royal had ordered, I went to help Lily instead. Boop. She liked to hang, th hang the laundry out in the rose garden, allowing him to dry 
in the sweet spring air. You can also probably spy on Sol while she's at it. <laughs> she was coming to grab another basket when she saw me, and so I went outside to help her finish folding the rest of the clothing. You know, I noticed that you and Royal are getting along quite well lately. Well, I wouldn't say I'm getting along, but something's happening. Lily's statement caught me a guard, and I almost dropped one of Miss Maria's dresses in the grass. I hadn't been allowed um, I had been allowed to borrow her clothing while I was staying here. I had lost my suitcase somewhere in the forest and I couldn't really go back and retrieve them thanks to the curse. Chuckling at the ridiculous ridiculousness of her statement, I waved my hand at, dismissively in Lily's direction. Your eyes are deceiving you, Lily. <laughs> me and Royal getting along? If that happens, the world just might end tomorrow. Maybe. Unless we can get past his his grumpiness, which we will. Mm. We'll do it for Royal. Mm. Her ponytail bobbed as she tilted her head. She then giggled and flashed me a grin as she gently folded one of Sol's shirts into a perfect square. It seemed like she was putting more care and feeling into handling Sol's clothes than anyone else. Lily interpreted my amused observation of her work. Trust me, Royal would rather... Is, has a rather weird way of showing he cares for others. He is Sundere, I knew it! Ha ha! I know all. <laughs> I expressed my exasperation with a sigh and shake of my head, carefully folding the remaining pair of slacks into my basket. I think he hates me. He's been bullying me nonstop since I came here. I, I've been on vacation for so long, I don't even think that's the right voice anymore. I've forgotten. Oi oi. Lily winked at me playfully. <laughs> that means he's fond of you. Yeah, Lily's up here, that's right. <clears throat> I stared at her, my mouth twisted in a frown. No, he's not. Don't be silly. I know that he acts cold to people around him, but deep inside, he cares ab about everyone a lot. Lily flashed an incre incredulous incredible look, joining... Joining her, um, oh, I forget that. that pff, joining her in an uplifting, in lifting up the baskets in order to bring the laundry inside. I can't read. Oh my gosh! I need. To... <sighs> Though she had been teasing me only a minute ago, her next sigh was soft and sad. It may not look it, but Royal is afraid of being left alone. Eh? Seriously? We started to walk a little slower. I kept my eyes on Lily, surprised but not as shocked as uh, that I had been with her opening statement. It was just as hard to believe that someone with that attitude and as cranky as Royal wouldn't have want to be left alone. Lily's gaze softened as she spoke again. His parents died when he was only four, and he was left under the care of our previous butler. Poor, poor boy. Now I want to give him a hug. We're moving him off the slap list. He needs a hug. He was always, he was all, uh, he was always so quiet back then, keeping his head lowered all the time. I suddenly understood what Lily had meant. Royal tended to be ab abrasive, but he really was just afraid of getting close to someone, only to lose them. Like, Lily continued with a sad, nostalgic smile. Lady Gold was the only, was the only, uh, um, Lady Gold was the one who lowered, lowered Royal's defenses. She was so persistent on becoming his friend, but Royal was u wasn't used to getting all that attention from the young heiress. I glanced at Lily again, and s I knew it was L I knew it was Lady Gold for one or Gold. I knew it was her. Who else would have it been? I glanced at Lily again and saw how bright her smile had become as she spoke about Gold. I couldn't help wondering just how um, just how wonderful Gold must have been um, to have so many. Uh, the bell I still can't read. Gold must have been to have so many love her. Lily laughed, breaking me out of my thoughts. Royal would blush so hard that Lord Dion would tease him endlessly. Thus, the start of their en of their interesting but weird relationship. <laughs> so everything started off for Royal because of Gold. No wonder she's so special to him. I can't impose on a bonds like that. The heaviness started again, and I was glad the basket prevented me from reaching towards my aching chest. Why do I feel if 
this way every time I think about his relationship with gold. Because you are very jealous that you can't have his beautiful silvery eyes and black hair. <sighs> Sad face. <laughs> Royal really treasures those who are important to him. Would you believe that he used to smile a lot? Maybe. Maybe. Lily hadn't noticed my pain expression, so I tried to keep it a secret, forcing out a laugh at her last question. That guy knows how to smile? Yes, but... We started up the stairs to the second floor, our pace slowing as Lily's story continued. After the curse was cast upon us, his smile disappeared. I can't blame him. He lost some one very important he lost some very important people in his life. My shoulders slumped at her words, but I quickly straightened up. You mean gold? Lily nodded. Well yes, but others too. He lost his parents twice, if you think about it. The previous butler was like a father to him. I glanced down at the clothes I was carrying, recalling something from when I'd first come here. Dion had mentioned that their butler was long gone. What happened to him? Pausing, Lily took a deep breath, as if trying to form the words. He was one of those who attempted to escape into the forest. Royal, he witnessed his adoptive father die in front of him. Now I need to give him a hug, oh my gosh. I flinched as tears began to blur my vision. I willingly, I willingly, I whirled away that same painful memory of my father's death. Well, we were all toys at the time, so no one felt pain like they did. Still, it was awful. The moment they were with us, and the next they were gone. Trying not to dissolve into sobs of empathy, I didn't lift my foot in time and fell to on forward onto the stairs. Ow! My attempt to protect the basket failed, and I ended up spilling all of the laundry over the hardwood floor. Ah! Uh, oh no! Miss Aura, are you alright? <laughs> giving her a yes, I set the basket down and moved quickly to refold the clothes I had scattered. Lily placed the basket aside and helped. As the pile slowly reduced, I noticed a small, beautiful dress adorned with delicate lacing and shimmer around the heap. Oh, this is a beautiful dress. Did you make it? Lily shook her head as she took the took it into her lap and folded it, the dress to prevent wrinkles from forming before it could get hung up. Oh no, I'm actually very bad at sewing. Well, I know who's good at sewing. Believe it or not, this masterpiece of is the work of Prince Sol. He really outdid himself on this one. Ah uh, yes, beautiful Sol. I miss him. I haven't seen him. Yeah, well, um... Even as Lily placed the dress back into the basket, I stared at it, awestruck. The pattern was so intricate. Uh, um... Back when Royal injured his arm as a teddy bear, I hadn't expected, um, that's what had soul... Bleh. I hadn't expected that what soul meant by knowing how to sew also included designing dresses, too. You mean he... Yes, Prince Sol is especially good. He has been fond of designing clothes since we were very young. When Lady Gold turned into a doll, he felt helpless, but he decided that it, he could have, um, she should at least be able to wear a beautiful dress every day until the curse was broken. That is a good brother right there. I clasped my hands together and sighed. It was so sweet of Sol to dedicate his time to creating new clothes for his sister. I miss him. Even with, um, um, even with her heart locked away somewhere, I knew Gold m must be able to feel the love f from the special people in her life. That's amazing! I keep giving them the same voice. What's with me? Ah! Oh well. Nodding, Lily was, um, resumed, folding the clothes I had dropped. I quickly stu um, started again as well, though I looked over to her and, um, when a small sigh escaped her lips. How I wish he'd sew a dress just for me. Lily hugged the dress on um, the second, a second dress to her chest, gazing at it longingly. Have you told him? When gaining her senses, Lily swiftly folded the dress and moved on to the next article of clothing before casting a sigh, casting a sideways glance at me. Told him what? 
Your feelings for him? You're in love with him, aren't you? She rushed forward in alarm <laughs> and leaned over the laundry baskets between us so she could press her hands over my mouth. Her cheeks flushed in a scarlet in an instant. H how would you know? Am I really that obvious? Well, now you just admitted it, even if I didn't know. Ah. <laughs> when she didn't show any signs of removing her hands, I reached up and pulled them down. Her fingers were trembling a little, so I gave them a gentle squeeze. Frankly, yes. But I don't see why Sol hasn't noticed. It could, it could be just that he's really oblivious, or he's pretending not to know. Ah, ah, ah. Her blue eyes opened wide, her pupils are contracting to the p pinpricks in the light, the blush spreading across her ears. Ah, this is so embarrassing! Lily, wait! I tried to hold on to her hand, but Lily was already running away before I could finish my sentence. Giggling a little, I finished gathering the laundry and went to deliver the basket by myself. Alright, I think I think we should end it there. I have what are we on for time? I don't even know. Let's see. Ah, I think I think we're good. We got some fun stuff in there. Got some interesting story about poor Royal who needs a desperate hug. He'll get a hug eventually. I will hug him. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. Let's go and save Save for the choice, save for the choice. Yeah. That's not a choice there. I always save the choices, that's right. So save over here. Yes. Oop, oop, come back. Alright, so we'll end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed, of course. Uh, I'm on vacation right now, just recording on the random times. Hopefully you guys, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye!